Hello everyone. So I'm here today with another layout using my scrapbooking store kit for November. I am going to be scrapbooking this 4x6 photo and I'm going to start by limiting my options. I have a really hard time and get very overwhelmed when I have a ton of uh, different options for scrapbook layouts. But I have a really good idea of what I want to do on this layout. So I'm gonna start by grabbing my Getting Sticky With It T and insert, and I'm going to grab all of the floral stickers and pop them into the notebook. That way, if I don't use them all, that's totally fine. I can pick them back up, put them back in, they won't be hurt at all because I stuck them into the notebook. So I'm just gonna go on here, I'm gonna grab all the flowers. We're gonna do a lot of florals today with this four by six photo. And so I want to uh, just limit them, limit what I have going on here <laughs> so that I don't get super overwhelmed. Next, I am going to go ahead and map my photo. So I know that I wanna use this yellow mustardy colored paper. And my plan for this layout is just to create a band across the middle for some interest. And then, uh, go ahead and create from there. I'm going to be doing a lot of fussy cutting today because I decided that I want to fussy cut some of the flowers from one of these pattern papers. I'm sorry if you can hear that. There is a street cleaner going by in front of my house. I'm also going to take advantage of that uh, cut apart sheet right there with the tag. And again, I'm just going through the papers and limiting my options again. I'm a big believer when you start with the first layout. This is the first layout I made with this kit. So um, I always find that my layouts turn out so much better when I have the opportunity to kind of limit what I'm doing. Okay, so I've cut down some papers. I've made some decisions. I'm going to go ahead and start by matting my photo onto this striped paper. The striped paper is super pretty. I was very, very, I like it a lot. So some of this I'm going to use, some of it I'm not. I think I end up using this stripey kind of cut apart sheet, but not the the wording. I thought about using the wording, but in the end, I just don't, I don't need it. My layout comes together with other things. So this is a photo of my youngest son and all of his cousins. They, um, these four, he has lots and lots of cousins, uh, but these, these three are the ones he is the closest to because he sees them quite often. My sister only lives about 10 minutes from me. And uh, they're all close in age to him, so he has a good time with them. I decided uh, I'm going to cut down this cut apart piece and I'm going to use this as the title for my layout. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to ink it up all of my edges. I'm inking with Vintage Photo Distress Ink. And I'm also going to go ahead and mat this with the back of that other cut apart thing. That's how I use it. I was going to say I don't use that, that um, <laughs> one that says fall we've missed you but I did I actually used it to map the other one uh, just to give it a little bit of definition against that beautiful mustardy colored page so this is what I would consider a go-to design for me something I do quite often and it is just to create a band across the middle of your page another thing I like to do quite often is to do a minimalist layout with a uh, one third. So when you do that, you collect all of the elements for a layout into one third, just one third of your 12 by 12 paper. Um, but this one is just a fun little band across the middle. So I'm gonna use this as my titling area and I'm going to title my page Cousins. And I just pulled some beautiful golden uh, glittery sparkler sparkled thickers. I'm going to put it into my Get Sticky notebook because I want to make sure that I have all the letters I need to be able to spell out cousins. And then I'm going to um, put them all together on that little tag that's already pre-printed and ready to go. Cut apart elements are like my favorite thing ever for this very reason. It makes titling and um, different elements for your page come together really quick. 
So once I have kind of my band together, so I have my title piece, I have my photo, and now I wanna fill in. And I'm gonna fill that band across the middle of my page. So I don't know about you out there in YouTube land, but I think that there are never enough flowers in a collection. So when a collection has flowers or floral pieces, there's always like three in the die cut pack. There's always like two on the sticker sheets. Shout out to scrapbooking companies, we need more flowers. Uh, for this layout, I'm going to fussy cut oodles of flowers from this pattern paper, uh, which I'm not gonna make you watch all the way through. So I'm just gonna start by rough cutting around the flowers I want, and then I'm gonna come back in and detail cut around them or fussy cut around them. So that way I have all the flowers that I want for my page. Which just gives me another conundrum because now I have all these beautiful flowers and I've added some Nouveau Drop details to them to give them some dimension and some interest. I love how they turned out. And now I'm not gonna use any of those stickers that I put in my little uh, Get It Sticky book because I have all these beautiful flowers and I like them better. The ones from the sticker sheet have those like halos around it and I would insist on cutting those off. So. I fussy cut the flowers, I added Nouveau details, set them aside to dry, went off, you know, switched the laundry, cooked dinner, yelled at my kids, all that kind of stuff. And now I'm coming back to kind of finish my layout up. So I have my photo and I have the title piece and I'm just gonna gap, put a gap in between because I'm now going to fill in all around everything with flowers, all the flowers everywhere. I'm going to use the tried and true method of sticking and plunking which will make them random and just kind of tuck them around all the little pieces until I have that whole middle area of my layout completely covered in flowers. And then I decide I wanna do a little cluster at the bottom and a little cluster at the top just uh, to make it interesting. I'm going to use some more of that beautiful stripey paper and I'm gonna add some of the flowers that didn't make it into the band across the middle. And then I'm going to grab a Kiwi Lane template. This is a leaf shape. And I'm going to turn the pattern paper over. I'm gonna trace around this leaf shape and then fussy cut it out. I inked up the edge with vintage photo distress ink and I'm gonna put it up in that corner for a little bit of de decoration or a little uh, cluster up there at the top. And I do think I end up using a flower sticker up there, maybe. But I do wanna grab these leaves. So this um, fall, this photo was taken in the fall in October and behind the picture you can see all the different colors of the leaves so I did want to add a little bit of, of the fall idea of leaves and things like that to the layout. So I used the strip of paper and then that uh, border strip, it's not quite 12 inches so I centered it as best I could on the across the bottom of my layout uh, which is fine, that happens. A little bit of glue, we're just going to rub that away and then we're going to continue on here with our layout so I'm just adding the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to the very edges because I don't want them to pull up uh, this is a problem I seem to have quite often when I fussy cut things I just need a little extra glue on the edges so that they don't pull up and tear okay so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of trim up my things here and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere down this leaf and that just pulls more of that stripey paper up into the other corner of the layout and that gives everything a continuous feel across the whole page. Okay, so next up, I know that I wanna fill in that leaf with something. I'm just not sure what it is yet. So this is where I go ahead and decide I'm gonna add one of those stickers. So I did use one of the stickers that I pulled off and had in my notebook. I'm just trying to decide which one I want. I think I'm going to decide on this one. And now I decide that I want some butterflies because we have flowers. So if we have flowers, we need butterflies. Also, I love butterflies. <laughs> um, and I'm going to add some of these. Oh, little leaf stickers. So I'm just adding my last little bits of embellishment here. I did want to put one of the upgrade items into my layout. Primarily I used the main kit for this, but there is just this one, the only upgrade I used was this butterfly, these butterfly stickers, because they're so pretty. I love how these stickers are like a craft color, so they really work with the floral 
and the, the autumnal colors that are in the collection and the kit. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to place these around and then I want to give them a little something extra. I'm going to pull them off and put them down, you know, do my normal like fidget with everything type deal. And then I want to give them some tails. So um, to give them some tails, I just added some Nouveau drops. Uh, first, I drew the tails with a very thin, fine tip brown marker, and then I went over the tails with some Nouveau drops, and what that did is it provided a little bit of definition to the butterfly tails and a little bit of extra something to them. If you're interested in these Nouveau drops, these are the buttermilk Nouveau drops, and because of the marker that I used, the buttermilk Nouveau drops kind of... Um, they reacted with the ink from the marker, so it really gave them this fun, three-dimensional, kind of shadowy look that I really think turned out wonderful. And that's going to complete this layout for today. Thank you so very much for watching my video to the very end. If you liked it, I'd love a thumbs up, and I always love to read your comments. You can see all the beautiful details here in this close-up, and I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous day. Bye!